Before we go into the demo, I'd like to go through what we have in our environment. In the production site, on the left, we have a set of SQL Server VMs and an ESX cluster connected to a Clarion CX4960 array. And on the right, we have their replicas, using a recover point to replicate the data to the recovery site, which also has a Clarion CX4960 array. So in this demo, a virtualized SQL Server database will have an application consistent replica mounted to a host on the recovery site. Here we see the TPCE database and the production server. Here we see the SQL Server, Mount Host Virtual Machines and the Recovery Site, and the Data Store Volumes. VMFS replication requires that the Logical Volume Manager resignature be enabled on both the production and Mount ESX servers. Here you can see it's issuing the commands to the ESX servers. This will allow VMware to write a new signature to the LUNs when necessary. Replication Manager is the only interface required by the user which coordinates all operations across all levels of the stack. From here we choose our mount host TPCE2 on the remote side. We leave the alternate path um, as default and we choose to recover all databases. We need to untick the read only option in order to choose the option to recover all databases and set the recovery type to recovery. We put in our credentials for our SQL Server database and click finish. We open up the job window and we can see Replication Manager orchestrating all the tasks in order to mount the database to the remote site. We take a look at the remote site vCenter. We can see the rescanning of the VMFS data stores, the refreshing of the whole storage system, and we can see that the data stores are now mounted to the ESX servers on the remote site. Reconfiguring the virtual machine in order to mount the database volumes to the mount host. So the mounting of the replica completed successfully. You can see all the tasks that were performed in the job window. All of these tasks were automated by Replication Manager. Here you can see where the mounting of the system took place. So if we go to the mount host on the recovery side, TCE SQL DR SQL1, we do a refresh of the databases. We can now see that TPCE is online and mounted on the recovery site. TPC SQL Server database replica mounted on the remote host and this can now be used for 
backup, reporting or testing. To find a full solution please visit emc.com. Thank you for viewing the demo.